Hello. May I say welcome? My name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage, if you can. The five deaths. Jeez, if only, if only there had been five. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can, uh, you can get your feet wet here. And you should, because diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are. And uh, you want to be ready before you try that. Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond creation lab. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side, but watch out for dinosaurs. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Hi there, guys. This is Farmer Bob, and welcome to another episode or a new venture or rather say it's not another episode it's the first episode in the next series of of simulation games that i'm playing and yeah i hope you are doing well i hope you've had a wonderful day and yes thank you for joining me and uh, yeah this is going to be great man i've been wanting to play this game for so long and eventually i just caved in and bought it <laughs> so yes i've been jealous of everyone else playing you know so yes this is a good time, guys, to to uh, just get together and relax and enjoy this awesome game, man. I hope you are all comfortable. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks once again for tuning in. Um, I would really appreciate if you give the video a like if you like it or just maybe subscribe to my channel. That would also be nice. Go through all my stuff. I'm actually uh, more of a... Uh, uh, um, farming simulator player but yo, this game is so nice and I mean let's start farming with some dinosaurs <laughs> why should we stick to cows and pigs you know so yeah in this game we get to farm with some dinosaurs which is quite awesome um, obviously I do love dinosaurs they are awesome things and uh, yeah so let us get stuck in um, this obviously this first island there is five of them and this obviously the first island is the Matinceros is sort of a training island where they help you and they talk a lot you'll see there's not really much time to to commentate on this because the guys just keep on jaw flapping jaw flapping all the time but anyways yes let's get stuck in immediately and uh, build our first um, Hammond creation lab now the the people coming through this year and then obviously they venture into the park and then you start off uh, with this map, you start off with a power station, it's a small power station. This I believe is a research lab and then this is our fossil center. So yeah, very nice to start with these two already uh, in game. Obviously as a training map you will need those to, to go. Now there's, there's a quite a bit of shortcuts which really makes the game quite easy or, or better to, to, to play. Well, yes guys. So this is basically a, 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 a little basic tour of what this island is about. I was talking about the shortcuts. If you press M, it brings up a, a nice map which, <laughs> which you can't see in the beginning of the game. So yeah, I think let's just, let's just get through the, through the nitty gritties first and keep this guy satisfied. Because they're going to keep on... Um, flapping their jaws until they drive you nuts. So let's start to support this creation lab. Let's focus on what you're here to do, which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. 
So this first few minutes of the game is just basically tutorial. Now comes the real test, incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. Right, so this is the dinosaurs that you start with. Um, and look at the, um, the percentages they are. Already researched or checked out or discovered, I would say rather. It's probably <laughs> discovered in the fossil center. And uh, yeah, so let's just get this guys happy and build one dinosaur for them. So here we go. The machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, Doctor. You know we've learned so much and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the, the last time. There's always a last time and a next. There's, there's always the last time <laughs> and people still keep dying <laughs> okay excellent let's release our first one oh, here we go the chicken chicken dinosaur oh just look at him life it begins the most precious moment the result of incalculable actions and reactions trials and errors Genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. Now we so, just well build done, them. <laughs> I guess. Oh, nice. Right, I wonder if we're going to get some... Peace and quiet now for a while, but I suppose not. I can't even select this yet. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. I just want to check if we've got some quiet now. <laughs> okay. Now the three divisions. Uh, yes, you would you would hear that one when when Cabot introduced this. He says security, and then the other two. You know, so he, he puts a large amount of emphasis on security. So <laughs> I don't know why, <laughs> but anyway, what I what I found on this guys is. Um, if you focus too much on the one, the others get jealous and then they start sabotaging. So it's better to try and balance the three and, um, yeah, and just give them each a little slice of the pie and then keep them happy, you know. And even with that, you still get sabotage. So, yeah, now and then there is a sabotage. But anyway, let's start with, um, with the science. Ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new Director of Operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the science division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the science division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. Great, you'll see the... She's talking nonsense because you can't just do the science. You have to do the other two as well. All right, so in this mission or objective or um, whatever you want to call this, contract you have to buy a uh, build and connect an expedition center so yeah and you get 250 grand for it contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park right so the expedition center is what you use to send out your your little dig teams out into the dig sites and then uh, for a moment now I forgot how to turn there you go yeah. you use Z and X to turn by the way <laughs> so I just want to try and squeeze this in here somewhere um, as you can see also the little power green power circle around the 
the uh, foul pole. Um, it only needs to touch your building, just a little bit. As long as it touches your building, then the building is got power. So yeah, you don't have to have it like inside the whole thing, you know. So yeah, there where I put it there, out of the way, that will still have power. So yeah, great man. Just another tip there too. So one more thing, your reputation, your rep, quote unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally. There you go, they do. <laughs> they seriously do. <laughs> okay, anyways, this is the fossil center, so I believe there is some fossils in there already. But I can't, I'm clicking on it. People oh, there we go. People think money makes the world go around, but they're wrong. Contracts make the world go around, my friend. Obligations and commitments. Complete a contract and your rep with the science division will increase. Meaning you'll be able to take on more complex and challenging missions. Right, so this is the fossil center. The fossil center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting! Oh, thank you, Cabot. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> anyway, so let's just go see what's in there. View the fossils. I believe there is a few already in it. Well, there is our I've first mission. Interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life pure life if you've been listening to dr malcolm then you know how important this is to us and to me right so we're going to take this mission because i mean the next thing to research is the, the triceratops so let's just pack it anyway while we're busy with that so in here we've already got a few fossils i knew you were my kind of person inquisitive driven and i knew you couldn't resist this opportunity so let's get started Great, so there's um, two Stutio Marmots. we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. Don't disappoint. Okay, once this Grammy uh, just give us a gap, we can actually just check what's in here. There's a Triceratops, a two-star. Um, also Edmontosaurus and also a Ceratosaurus. Wonderful. Okay, so let's just start extracting all these. So these are bonuses that you start with. We didn't go dig for these. Uh, in the in the fossil center and, and also the um, the control panel you've got all these nice sandy icons here on top. So this is your world map. Expedition map. So the yellow dots is new sites or sites that you are able to visit and then go and dig. And then you'll see each site has got different dinosaur teams. An expedition center will allow you to send dig teams around the world in search of new dino fossils. DNA can be extracted from these fossils, which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. And that's our true lifeblood. Wow, wonderful. All right, so here we are. Let's send the dig team out. We want to do the Triceratops, so let's just shoot it out there. Good! Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Right, so let's wait for those guys. In the meantime, let's see if we can uh, incubate um, some more of these chickens. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, Money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. Great. Okay, so finances, let's just have a look. At the moment, we're still not making profit because we don't have dinosaurs yet. We only have the one. But that's soon going to change as soon as we have a Triceratops or two out. One of your dinosaurs has failed to incubate. I never said bringing back dinosaurs was going to be easy. Okay, let's discard that and go for another one. 
It's 74 percent. Uh, so yeah, it's actually crazy that it's not succeeded. But I suppose it's part of the tutorial. They had to fail one. <laughs> so yeah, let's release our second chicken. Astruthiomimus. Another dinosaur that furthers the case of a direct linkage to our modern birds. To our modern birds. Yeah, right. I wonder if this auntie realizes that the bird and a reptile is actually two different animals, you know? <laughs> That's not a bird. A bird has got feathers and it can fly. <laughs> Anyways, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. You know, she is a doctor, however. Alright. Let us... Oh, here we go. You should extract genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs. Right, our dig team is back. The chopper is in its spot. So we can go to the fossil center and just see what they've, they've been digging up, you know. And they brought back. So let's have a look. Oh yeah! Nice amber. That's a four star. That is an awesome, awesome uh, um, fossil there. This is a three star. Also very nice. And this obviously is some, what is this? Uh, rhodium. Nice, nice metals and stuff and minerals that you can sell. Sell for bucks. Alright, so let's get these going. Good. Alright, let's have a look at the research center because it's important to, to get research done too. The research center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades and more await. Alright, let's have a look what's in there. Okay, very, very important is the treatment. And then also building upgrades, obviously. Um, this one here is very important. It's your success rate on your uh, uh, incubation. So yeah, let's do that one first. And then ranger's uh, accuracy and ranger ac uh, the ACU accuracy, very important, those two. The reload speed, nah, not that bad. And also, obviously, your, um, your scheduling on both these, also important, you know. And then inventory space, not, not really that important in the beginning of the game. You know? We are making great strides so far. I believe I may be on the cusp of something wondrous. And I have you to thank, at least in part, for where I find myself. Now we need to incubate, hatch and house our dinosaur. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it. Right, I'm going to wait for our... Um our incubation research to finish. Once that is finished, I'll do the Triceratops because otherwise we might just lose that money because the Triceratops is fairly expensive, you know, <laughs> to incubate. We can quickly have a look at that. Uh, 230 grand, standard. Remember, we haven't even modified any genomes. So it can go up to about 500,000 if you play around with the genomes a bit and even more you know it just depends on what you what you modify on them I tend to favor lifespan on all the dinosaurs because later in the game you're not really obviously the star rating is important but lifespan is very important because yeah, it gives you uh, a longer time before you have to make another one you know? so yeah that's fairly fairly interesting uh, fairly good to go for that Okay, so what else can we build? Uh, let's have a look here at the uh, operations. The ranger station, obviously. Let's get the ranger station going. Nice. Let's just pass it out. I wonder if we should um, just pass it like that and save the space, you know. Right, I've actually used the wrong the wrong road there. Suppose we can upgrade that. Uh, why is the color different? I 
Oh, there you go. It's the cheapest road that there was. Okay. Okay, we're not fussed about the roads at the moment. So, yeah. Let's just wait for there. You can obviously upgrade your paths. Upgrade, to, upgrade them to this nice, uh, nice looking paths. Gives your people a better um, park rating, you know, so they're more happy. Let's just leave it like that because that's. People shouldn't be going there, but they should be going here, you know, so no, let's just leave it like that. So our fossils is back. Let's have a look what came in. Yes, man. Yes, man. Oh, yeah. Triceratops. A two and a three star. Okay, that's all right. We can live with that. I'm going to keep, hit, keep hitting the Triceratops, um, just to keep sending it back there. See if we can finish this genome. Oh yes, let me show you. We can now see the control room. Some of these icons was disabled. So in the control room, you have your finances, your missions, very important. Your reputation, obviously, with the three places. And then contracts. Every minute that goes by, you can uh, request a new contract. Um, so you can work on three contracts at a time. So let's just request a new one. And let's start with uh, our friend Isa. Hey, I'm Isaac. Or Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks fill up our facilities with warm bodies numbers bring revenue excitement and opportunities okay that was a simple mission you know just build a fast food fast food facility or fast food restaurant and there you go and i'm thinking we're gonna run out of power soon so we better have a look at the power as well here's a chance to really prove yourself Oh, this is also an easy one. Make a hundred grand <laughs> in items found on expeditions. So yeah, that's a quick and easy one. So let's grab that one too. Uh, our fossils are not back yet. Because I mean, we sell the we sell the minerals and rocks and and diamonds and whatever we find, we sell it anyway. We're not going to keep it. You know? All right, I think our research is finished. Let's have a look. Nice. Uh, here we go, building research. So this is now, creation lab is now full. Uh, what was the other thing that was fairly important was the diseases. This is very important to keep all these things always um, uh, researched. The genetics not so much at the moment. Watching you work? Now that's what I call an entertainment. Good. Okay, fast food. Every every shop or whatever you bought has got this little thing. It's the finance section. So it's important to go in here and then check your visit account. See what you're selling and if you've got enough staff to work on it. Alright, so at the moment we, do, we can do 240 guests and we only got four. So the running cost and we only make eight bucks profit. So um, yeah, everything is still fresh and there's not a lot of people in the park so let us let us change that immediately and build two triceratopses but before we do let's just put our um, success rates into this empty slots so this success rate one give you 10% um, every time you um, for everyone so that's 30% there right so we should now be able to do a hundred percent of triceratops. You see, seventy-two to hundred and two. Wonderful. So let's get it two looks of like these. you run out of power. That's not good. Ah. Build more power stations or increase your output. Let's just see if we can increase the output. I'm Owen Grady. Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. Yes, Owen. Raptors more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. 
Anyway, it's nice to meet you. So, Owen, where did you stash blue? That's what I want to know. Power is something we simply cannot ignore when it comes to our operations. Without power, we, uh, well, we, we don't have any power. Okay, guys, we don't have enough power at all, so... Uh, and we don't have any research um, power for things, so let us have a look here at power buildings, electricity, improved output, so let's just do that one, so we can quickly get a bit of uh, power going. Our money is going down fast, though, guys, so we have to seriously um, look at our dinosaurs so that we can get more people I wanted to show you earlier on this the map you press in on this which is handy is you can have a look at your park exactly where the outlines is it's your buildable space you can see your each dinosaur's health and whether it needs food or whatever and in this case we actually forgot to build them food <laughs> so yes let's immediately do that because they, they're going hungry at the moment. So enclosures, they are ground feeders. So we just put one here. Let's just do one for now because we only have a few dinosaurs. Excellent. And you can't you can't refill these without the ranger station anyway. So luckily we built the ranger station already. Good. So how far is the research? Okay. Oh, it's two minutes remaining. All right. All right. I see our Triceratops is all finished. Wonderful. Okay, we've already seen the power things, guys. Thank you very much. Let's just start releasing our dinosaur. Nice. Here's a Triceratops. I think we'll call this one Bull. Bull and Mike. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. How's it, Bull? Our new specimens, sorry, dinosaurs, are meeting expectations, but we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment. Making sure our specimens are properly cared for. In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. Right, you'll see now immediately our finance you've been come up. up to with great interest, and I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me into the loop as she should have done. I'll sure. discuss this with her later. Dr. Henry Wu. Oh yes, we hear you, but we hear you, but <laughs> right, this. Oh, you see. Gosh, you got a sick dinosaur on your hands. Oh my gosh. It's time to treat it. Or what comes next, that's going to be on your hands as well. So let's just get the ranger team and quickly treat it. How's this? We, re we really released the Triceratops and it's immediately sick. <laughs> How crazy is that? Anyways, our rangers will come and sort that out. You can obviously manually do that, which is quite fun. To manually drive the, the, the uh, jeep and come and shoot them in the butt <laughs> and sort them out. <laughs> All right, I believe the two minutes must be finished now. So let's see if we can add some power here. Yes, sir. And immediately we've got 15 unused powers. Well, we're safe for now. Good. Just had a bit of a lag spike there for some reason. This is cheap as shit. There you go. All sorted out. One million bucks. Oh, I love it. Produce two is now available. We are on the path to a pure strain dinosaur. 
This will definitely shift the paradigm. I can't ignore this accomplishment. Oh, with your help. Obviously, that goes without saying. But under my direction, I think we make a good team. Let's do this again. I'll let you know when. I've witnessed Dr. Dua flail and fail before. Now with you, she believes she is on her way. Does she really think she can accomplish what I have not? Hey, this guy's got a big head, eh? My word. <laughs> he thinks a lot of himself. This is Lambert, head of oh. security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Oh. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. Right, guys, let's first have a quick look at the control panel. We press C for control panel, by the way. And then our income now, look at that. We've released two triceratopses and look at that, 56 grand a minute. All done. And I'm going to quickly, because we got some bucks now, I'm going to build us two viewing galleries, which is always nice to have. Um, there you go. Just going to put that there. Pass it up, obviously. Power it up. Oh yeah. If this was an electric fence, you didn't need to power it. But because it's a standard steel fence, um, we will need to put a little power up here. What do you call this thing? I think I might want to put it on this side. Because later on we might want to try and build some more this way. So let's see. I suppose that's the best spot for it there. That will look the best. That one there. Right, okay, another one. Let's have another one. And, oh no man, what am I doing? Enclosures, uh, just go down. Here it is. And this one, I'm going to try and swing it out of the way a bit. Like, I think like that should be alright. Yeah, that's fairly nice. Okay, oh my word, I can't see where I'm going. So let's first clear out some bush here. <laughs> and it started to rain. Let's just clear out some bushes here. You can at least see what we're doing. Excellent. You think path not connected? Are you sure? <laughs> okay, and let's just put some power in here as well. Wonderful. Okay, 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 okay. Just give us a sec, man. We'll get to that. Don't worry too much. There you go. Now, once we've got that now, let's quickly have a look at our income. 66. So with that two galleries, we got 10 grand a minute extra. Isn't that awesome? Right, so let us now quickly look at our fast food. How is it going here? 55 gigs, so our park is definitely growing. We still don't have a, a lot of guests coming, but it's soon going to change, guys. It is soon going to change. Right, now let's just see if our trix is happy. Their social is good. Not really great they could manage actually one more uh, population is the amount of dinosaurs is in this small little enclosure or this camp and the social is the type of dinosaur in other words how many triceratops can it handle you know so comfort obviously and then 
grassland and forest is, is the, the enclosure. You see enough grassland and forest for it. Comfort is it happy? Water, food, obviously self-explanatory, and health also self-explanatory. Your star rating, you can have a look here. What the star rating is, and then here by the genome, which is very interesting, is the lifespan of of the the animal. So this one uh, lifespan genes is 60. The expected is 60 as well, and the age it's currently four. So if you wanted to know where your dinosaur's age is, that is where you find it. I've been looking for that for quite a while before I actually found it. <laughs> and I mean, it's it's actually just common sense. The science division is always on the lookout for ways to improve our bottom line. Right, that's an easy one to send an expedition to Ziluing formation. Ziluing. Ziluing. <laughs> okay, let's see what that is. Wonderful, wonderful. Right, time to send our chopper out again, guys. Let's just get them going. Oh, there's some fossils that we need to go and check. So let's just see where is the Ziluing. This is the Owl Creek Formation. That's the Lance Formation. Uh, Morrison. Dinosaur Park. Horseshoe. So I suppose it might be here in China somewhere. This is Lorinya. Lorinya. And this is Ziluing. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, it's 105 bucks to go there with our chopper. So let's just send them out there. Let's get that little mission done. In the meantime, let's have a look at our fossils. There's some more triceratopses that came in. The three star and a one star. So that should push it to about 76 or so. So let's see. Good, man. Good, good. Very good. How much power have we got now? Seven left. Okay, so we're going to have to build another power station anyway sometime. But currently everything is looking great. Oh, I wanted to have a look at the fast food now. What is up? It hasn't moved. Alright, so that is still okay. Research is definitely done, so let's have a look at that. Uh, sorry, we don't want to upgrade, we want to view. Good, what have we got here? Right, so we can do ranger accuracy, which is at this moment very important. We're not moving animals about at the moment, so we don't really need that as such um, as an immediate thing. But yeah, ranger accuracy, very important at the moment. Um, obviously on our first island, all these is only going to go for the first level in any way. You know? So yeah, don't expect to go up to level 3 on the first island. These uh, buildings, what is this? Oh yes, ghost shop, we can do that. So, um, our research teams, we only have one at the moment, but later on, you, on, on the other islands, you can actually get some more, you know, more research teams. And it's the same with the, with the dig teams. Nice if you can get three dig teams eventually, you know, so that makes your digging and your discovery so much quicker. Right, enclosures, what have we got here? Electrified light steel. Right, so we'll do that a bit later on as well. Excellent! Right. I think for the meantime, let's chuck in um, another few of these chickens and also uh, a triceratops. So let's do another tripe there. And let's do a chicken there. Just to get some more dinosaurs in the park. Okay. So if you go click on that, so you've got dinosaurs your guests want to get up close and personal with. The thing is, they can't. Construct facilities to increase visibility and keep visitors the right side of the safety glass. All right, that's exactly what we did, Cabot. <laughs> we built some uh, viewing galleries. So if you look at your viewing gallery itself, you can see um, visible dinosaurs and then what's important uh, the rest should always be yes or whatever and there's 56 guests that's what I was wanting to say excellent right complete that expedition is done so we got a few bucks in there let's see what came out there this is what you've been able oh. to accomplish we can advance our yes. work here in the science division obviously obviously Dr. Dua Dua <laughs> Okay, let's just extract these. Right, and this guy, we sell it for 80 bucks, 80 grand. So we almost got that one done. 
with our next expedition we will be able to do that. I want to go back to try, uh, just try and finish that chino. Nice. Okay, so we, our next dinosaurs is ready. Let's release that one. Good. Another chicken is ready. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining. It has been wonderful to have you with me and enjoying this wonderful game with me. And thanks, guys. As is Farmer Bob, uh, we've had a wonderful time together. I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, be blessed, man. And uh, uh, if you like the video, please give it a like. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more and also look at my other stuff on my playlist and things for Farming Simulator. And uh, yeah, let's, let's stick together guys and carry on the good work. <laughs> okay man, take care and have a wonderful day man. Cheers until next time.